Guys, look what we found up in here. This just came out whenever I was cutting. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Rebuild Your. My name is Scott and we are going to be working on the Camaro today. It's been long awaited. We are going to be working on the driver rear quarter panel back there. Um, there is some damages. We've already done some work. So we're going to start off there, but I'm going to keep you guys updated really close on what we're doing. So let's go back there and take a look at it. As you can see, we've started working on the quarter panel here. Um, all of this was damaged prior. I know, I wish I could have recorded it, but we did do some work. Um, up here at the top, we do need to come back and get this straight because there is some waves and it's sticking out in some places. So we're gonna get in there with the dolly and hammer that all back in. We're gonna finish welding up any spots that we need, um, but then we also have a lot of damage here along the wheel well, as well as back here, it is bad. So this is what we're gonna be working on. I don't know what all we're gonna get done in this video, but we're gonna start here. We have a really good basis and I think we have a good place to start working from. So let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, we've actually got this pretty smooth. Um, we just don't want anything popping out. So when we add our really thin coat of uh, body filler, um, it doesn't get in the way of this metal when we start sanding it all down. So everything's looking pretty good. Um, we'll come back and hit this all with the grinder, get it as smooth as we can, um, and then fill in any spots we need to. There's some little gaps and voids that I wanna fill up. Um, it's always best to fill it with weld than to fill it with Bondo or body filler. So let's, um, let's go ahead and get the rest of this finished in and we'll move on. All right, guys, one other thing. We do have a dent here. As you can see, there's a slight dent here. So what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna sand off, um, actually just grind down all of this paint, and then we're gonna come back with our stud welder and pull all these dents out so this area will look real nice. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, we have got this pretty good. There's a little bit of protrusions coming out a little bit, so we'll have to dolly those back in, and we should be good here. All right, we have hammered everything back down, dollied it back down to where it should be. So we are looking really good. That just needs a coat of body filler when we get to it, and it will be perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of welding here and finish off all of this um, little patch panel and then we'll end up moving on to that back area which we do have, I think it's a drop pan that comes in behind um, from the trunk that we will have to replace so I have to look into that because I don't believe I have that panel. But I do have all of this panel, the whole side of this uh, quarter panel back here so we should be good there. So let's go ahead and get into this and try to fill in all these little uh, voids that we have. All right, guys, we got everything welded in and it's looking really good all the way up, all the way across. It's ready for some primer. All right, guys, so it is getting really late tonight, so I think I'm gonna call that a night. I will catch you all tomorrow to finish this all off, so I'll see you then. Hello and welcome back. It's the next day. We are out here again. We are going to get back started on the driver side quarter panel. So let's get back there and take a look at what we're going to be doing today. All right, I think starting off, we are going to actually trim up some of this because I know all this up here is pretty well rusted. We're going to trim a little ways uh, around here and kind of see how bad the damage is under there. Um, so let's get to that. Guys, look what we found up in here. This just came out whenever I was cutting. Oh my gosh. 
Look at that. It is just like a steel pipe just sitting up in the drop pan. All right, so we got this section cut out. Um, we do have uh, some some damage still here that we've got to cut out and check because I want to make sure we get all of the damages out. Um, it is still really rusty and we will have to replace this drop pan, which we already knew that. Um, down here, it's completely rusted out. This, it's got some pretty bad surface rust as well. Um, but I think we're good as it comes around this back. It's mainly just surface rust. So really it's just a section with the drop pan and then as it wraps around, which we've got all this material on the outside, everything else is pretty solid. There's not rust or anything on the inside here. So we're good there. So we do need to check to see what's going on in these areas because this is where a lot of metal comes in and touches. So no wonder that these areas have rusted out. And then we've also got this. So let's take a quick look at it. Try to get in there and see what it looks like. I don't know how well you can see, but we have taken off all this stuff and it actually looks pretty good right above the seam line uh, right here. Um, there is some surface rust along here. We'll check it out. We'll probably end up um, sanding this down, um, but I think everything should be okay uh, to proceed with um, because it's all still really, really good metal. Now down here, this whole drop pan is probably gonna be replaced. There is some rust here at the edges, so the drop pan is probably pretty much shot. We'll replace that, um, replace this side panel over here. Everything's looking good, like even up in here. Um, we'll probably do some type of rust encapsulator. I think they sell some stuff on a hose you can stick way up in there um, and coat this whole thing uh, to make it really rust resistant, make sure all the rust is encapsulated up inside the panel. Um, but I think we're looking really good. I didn't want to get into this body line here. Um, just for the fact, whenever I come back with the replacement, we'll have to go higher. So when we cut it, we can make it super nice and seamless. Um, but that is looking pretty good. So what we are going to do really quick is actually get some primer on this just so... Um, it don't rust or anything because if I leave it much longer, I mean it is in a garage But if there's any humidity and stuff this will rust up from where we pulled out um, Those dents as well as welding. So for now before we put body filler on it, we're gonna primer it up Make sure it doesn't rust. So let's get to it All right, guys, if you're wondering, we will end up sanding this all back down. This is just for preventative measures um, until we can get on the actual uh, body filler and finish up all this area. Really, we want to get done with all the cars, um, rust spots and everything like that, and then do all of the body filler all at one time. That way we know what's going on and can work from that point on. All right, guys, I think we're going to end it there for tonight. We have got a lot done on the quarter panel. We have some big holes. We know where we stand. We know we don't need any more parts besides that drop pan. I think we'll probably hold off on finishing all of this up until we get the drop pan in so we can get this all finished in at one time because we can't do that back portion until we get in the drop pan uh, to put it in first and then put on the outer skin. So we're gonna hold off on this. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I really do enjoy it. I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video.